Hello, hello, welcome back to Duty's Daggers. It's an exciting evening for me because we have a pre-order that has just come in. Uh, didn't wait too long for this, a couple months, which uh, in the pre-order world is uh, really not that long. Um, so let's check it out. Please subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. And my Instagram is dudes underscore daggers. Also look down there, make sure you're subscribed as well. This is from New ba uh what is it? Um, New Breed EDC. New Breed EDC. Most of you already know what this is. Let's check her out. Thanks for the support. Watch your fingers right on. <clears throat> COA, the Clydesdale, baby. Number 233 out of 400. Cool. 14C, hollow grind, titanium, OEM, Kubi. Let's check this baby out. So I have I have uh, taken a look at the prototype, um, but this has had some some great uh, changes done to it in the production version. So I cannot wait to to look at it and check it out here. Let's put this away really quick. Sorry, I always have to do that. All right, here we go. Let's look at this thing. Cool contrast with the the uh, the satin. Or the uh, sorry the uh, the tit plain titanium and the black hardware. I don't have many knives uh, like that. I don't, I'm not sure why. It looks good. The backspacer is the black too, also titanium. The clip looks simple um, in a very good way. I like clips like this, milled titanium clips that are just straight. I really like them. Um, we have a little bit of con yeah, it's slightly contoured uh, on the scale, so that should help ergonomically. We got a front flipper and a hole. Let's do the hole first. Ooh. Ooh, okay. Yep, there's the hollow grind. So the production version was a flat grind there. This one is a hollow. Very unique uh, blade shape, which is kind of what drew me to this knife. Definitely not a cookie cutter kind of blade shape. Very false shut. Let's try the front flipper. Another change was the jimping wrapped around the top, which I he did, or Kubi did, uh, at his uh, order, or request, I guess. Uh, so that's great, very nice. Feels nice and grippy up there. Getting a feel for the detent. Feels pretty snappy. Yeah, it definitely feels pretty. Sn you know, it's it's a heavy blade because uh, there's a lot of mass up here uh, that is usually not there. Uh, the blade stock isn't overly thick though, so it's not really the the blade stock that's giving it the weight. I think it's just this mass up here, but that's also helping it fall shut real nicely. And um, I think it would feel even snappier with a light blade, but man, I mean that's. That's really nice, actually. Hold on here. That's actually pretty darn good. I'm getting a little bit of a ting sometimes. Cool. I'm pretty happy with this so far. Uh, ergonomically, yeah, feels really fucking good. You can choke up. It's, um, it's. I mean, it's not the the most comfortable choke up area. There's not really an established choke up spot. This choil is. While it's a it's a pretty good sharpening choil, it's not a great choke up spot. It's just too small. Um, but this is, a, you know, a little flat spot right there. So you, I mean, you definitely can. You can hold it like this pretty comfortably, actually. So. It's just not like a super defined choke up area. Behind the edge feels pretty thin. We'll measure that in a minute here. Um, blade shape is kind of a sheep's foot-ish with the hump. Um, this little divot is for doing utility cutting, which I can already tell this is gonna be really good at because um, you know straight edge and we have a, even a little bit of a tip here. Almost makes me think of the hedgehog tip um, a little bit. See what I mean? 
yeah, that's cool. Um, so yeah, this is going to do really, really good utility cutting. This is really comfortable. The pointer finger right up there, really comfy. And then if you want to really choke up, there's an actually a little, uh, another divot right there that you could use. I don't see myself ever getting up that far, but right here, absolutely. Hell yeah, this feels very good. You can kind of hook your middle finger right in there. Yeah, that feels very secure. I like that it's a it's a liner lock, not a frame lock. Um, just kind of nice for a change, you know. Lock bar access is perfect, perfectly adequate. Yeah, very cool, man. Um, you know, it being titanium and 14C28N blade steel, they can bring the price down, or he, I guess he can bring the price down um, to a very reasonable price. I, I can't remember exactly, but it's less than 150. It's like 120, 130, somewhere around there. I'll link it down below. You can go look. I'm not sure if he uh, has extra um, to sell, you know, aside from just the pre-orders. I think he does. So if you're seeing this right now and you didn't pre-order it, um, go to the link below. It'll take you to his website, and you can go see if he has some. But it's a great price. Um, you know, it, it feels very premium. And since we have a little bit less expensive blade steel, it feels like a premium knife without super premium blade steel. Uh, let's check the thickness behind the edge. I'm going to guess here. I'm going to guess 17 thousandths. And we have 18. I'm getting pretty good at that. 18. Yep, 18. Uh, that's a little thicker than I thought. But, you know, it's a hollow grind, so... Um, you know, I, I actually don't know how it'll slice. I think it'll slice pretty good. Uh, I just don't know how good. Um, you know, it, it's a pretty shallow shaver grind. You know, it doesn't... It goes about a little over halfway, the full thickness or full, I guess, width of the blade. Um, but like I said, the blade stock's not too thick, and it is a hollow grind, so it'll be really interesting to see how this does in the cut test. Um, yeah, very curious to see how it'll do. Sharpening choil, yeah. There's some separation there, very good. You can see it starts to get thick right about where my fingernail is, right there and the edge termination is way up here. So that's great. That is some nice separation. Cool. Very nice. Well, I'm happy with this. Jipping is pretty grippy. Not like insanely grippy, but pretty grippy. Um, yeah, this action is just really nice. It feels a little snappier than the, snappier than the prototype even. Very cool. Awesome. Very good job, man, uh, on the design. And um, Kubi seems to have executed it very well. So there you go. Please like the video before you leave. I'd appreciate it. And I'll see you soon. Bye-bye.